welcome back to another slime fun filled episode with your host boomer today we are going to get into a add-on that we have yet to feature on the channel as a matter of fact i'm willing to bet you i've probably said the name three times over the last year you might even know what it is based on looking at the video we are going to get into the hot bar pets that's right now there are 31 of them so because there are so many i don't want to put them all in one episode so we're going to break this up into four chunks today we're going to feature the eight that you see here right in my hot bar why don't we dive right in let's start by talking about the pig pet that's right the pig pet so each pet has its thing that it likes to run off of the pig pet loves carrots and what it will do is it will increase your saturation as well as allow you to eat poisonous food so for example let's get to a spot here let's dump the pig just for a moment now as i'm running around we're going to measure just how quick does my saturation go out look at that. it went from the chest to the edge it went down a half and coming back to pick up our pig it's already gone down another half so we lost a full one on that bar we'll just eat a little bit of carrot here okay we're at a solid two let's do the same thing right now if our pig pet does its job it should not go down the same amount so let's take a look we'll go all the way down to the edge and come back remember in this last trip we easily consumed one full saturation level wow well we've gone down and back and haven't even broken into it yet let's go down again look at that man for all the sprinting you do in the world the pig pet is a pretty cool thing because look at this we're still going we have not dropped half of a saturation level yet this is our fifth run here okay finally it took almost five legs to see the saturation drop whereas without the first peg pet one run down and back was enough to drop it so great job mr pig pet definitely helps us with a lot all right let's move on to the chicken pet the chicken in time will take wheat seeds and turn them into eggs and i've got wheat seeds in my inventory and when i started this video if you watched i didn't have any eggs in my inventory but now i've already got four so over time that chicken pet will continue to give us eggs and it just wants wheat seeds in return you want to get a chicken farm going especially you know you're on a survival island you need some food you're you're looking for something to you know either get a food source going or you want to throw them in a zombie pigment because you've got nothing better to do get yourself a chick pet chicken pet and watch over time and see what happens so keep an eye on that we're at four we'll come back to it the mushroom pet does the same thing i started with no mushroom stews in my inventory now i have four and all it wants is red mushrooms now i have consumed all of my red mushrooms so at this point we're not going to see any more but look at that i got another egg and we'll talk about the go bar as well as the fish later on i just got a warning in my chat bar about the mushroom pet because I ran out of red mushrooms to feed it. All right, moving on to the cow. I love this one. This one removes negative effects. So we're going to give ourselves a splash potion of, po of poison. Oh, yeah, try that one more time, Boomer. Splash, splash potion of poison. Okay. Now this guy loves wheat. So let's give ourselves some wheat. Let's throw the potion up in the air and see what happens all right so now all i got to do to stop it this was a minute 30 potion of poison is right click him once he took one wheat from my inventory and stopped the poison instantly that would be a nice thing to bring in pvp if you're potioning you know if you're a big alchemist in pvp you're using potions there's a great way to remove negative effects very quickly moving on to the golden cow you might be able to guess what this one does simply by its name as i've been saying i now have five gold ingots we started with none but i started with nine golden carrots 
So what this one will do is over time, it will take a golden carrot and give you a golden ingot. So your net gain is one golden nugget. Now, it's not a lot, right? Every time it does that, you gain one golden nugget. But still, you know, if you happen to have an automatic farm and you've got hundreds or thousands of these lying around, keep it in your inventory. You know, you'll make a little bit of gold out of it. Not a bad deal. Let's move on to the fish pet. What do you think the fish pet does? You guessed it right. It gives you fish. And we've gotten six cooked cod. So over a period of time, again, it wants seeds. I simply am changing a seed for a cooked fish to give myself some food to recharge because right now, as you can see, well, my saturation level is pretty low. It gave me some cooked cod. That was pretty nice of it. All right, number seven, the squid pet. My gosh, I love this guy. Favorite food is raw cod, but here's why I like it. I like playing around in guardian temples a lot. And let's go over here to the water. So this guy gives us one minute of underwater breathing, right? Watch my raw cod. I'm going to right click. I now have water breathing three. Wee I got a whole minute we can do this down here. We can go exploring, go and kill the under garden, uh, elder garden in a temple. We can go down to some deep ravines and go looking for ores. We got a full minute of this. Oh, and by the way, when it runs out, I just have to right click again. I have enough fish where we can spend the next 15 minutes down here easy having fun. But I'll tell you what, you don't want to see me swim around the entire ocean. So let's come back up here. Oh, my Rushman pet would have helped me if I had not neglected it by forgetting to feed it. Yep. And our final pet for today, the rabbit pet. What's so big about the rabbit pet? This is something that probably isn't focused on too much in Minecraft, is the luck effect. What is the luck effect? Well, plain and simple. The luck effect is, for example, if you are fishing, it will increase your chances of getting better items from the loot table. Same thing if you're walking in a mine and you see a mine shaft and you come upon a chest. The luck will increase your chances of getting better loot. And so the rabbit, you simply right click it and now you'll see we have level luck, a luck level two for the next 30 seconds. So this would be a great time for me to go find a mine shaft or go fishing. But since I don't have a mine shaft nearby and I don't have a fishing rod, we're going to let the luck burn out. So guys, there are the first eight hot bar pets. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you found something useful that you can use in Slime Fun. The next three episodes will be devoted to the remaining hot bar pets. There are a couple that are pretty important, at least for me they are, especially if I want to build. Well, we'll hold that off till next episode. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate everybody's support, your feedback, your comments. We are so close to breaking that thousand subscriber mark. If you've been watching the channel, please hit that button, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you get told every time another episode comes out. But as always, when you're playing Slime Fun, you gotta go Boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later. <laughs>